Development in the race for the White House, the former President Donald Trump announced that he will not debate Vice President Kamala Harris again. He posted that decision on Truth Social. We won the debate according to every poll, every single poll. That's actually not true. Several national polls show Harris won. Trump is in Tucson, Arizona for his first post-debate campaign stop. He's also leaning into the moment when he repeated claims that migrants are eating cats and dogs, which officials in one Ohio town called Foss. He put out a AI-generated photo of kittens holding a vote for Trump sign. The Harris can't meet. Man, man, man. Looks like I spoke too soon. I say it looks like I spoke too soon. Good evening, one and all. I am Franchise Piercing. Welcome to my channel. September. September to remember? Maybe, maybe not. It is Thursday. Happy Thursday, 528 in the PM. Yeah, I just did a video on Donald Trump. It's within here. You see what smiley face is? Got on Trump's hat. In here, I talk about whether or not Trump and Harris will have a second debate. I also asked you who you think won. Or did you even care? And now I get all these headlines about Trump announces he won't debate Harris again. Look, when I first heard about it, I was like, man, come on, man. You got a debate. Then I just settled myself and I'm like, you know what? What would you do? What would you do? Cause you heard just from this news feed alone, Kamala Harris is ahead in the polls. Blah, blah, skippy, bam, boom. Come on, man. So now my rationale is, why would I put myself in a situation well, allegedly, the powers are spinning this thing in Kamala Harris' favor. First, you got the alleged earpiece as a microphone. Not to mention the fake neck, allegedly. And But now, they've been spinning this thing. I, and I can't believe what I'm hearing. So Trump is out there gauging this thing like, why would I go for another debate and put myself in a situation where now it could possibly be two debates where they say that he lost. I say good strategy. I say good strategy because now you speaking without speaking. The deductive reasoning can kick in. What you think, people? I just did the video with smiley face right there. Why did Biden adore this Trump hat? And listen, I, I want you to I want you to check this out. Check this out. I'm gonna put it on mute. We're gonna read this together slowly. Check it out. Trump declines another debate with Harris. Former President Donald Trump announced he won't participate in another debate this election season following his initial debate with Vice President Kamala Harris. A recent poll suggests that most voters believe Harris won the first debate. Come on, y'all, come on. Who are they polling? Jeff Rowe from the Beverly Hillbillies? Who are they polling, man? Who, man, I, I want to say some stuff. We got, we, look, it ain't like I'm about to cuss. I'm just saying. Oh, we back to 2020. Read between the lines. Trump said all of the problems caused by Kamala and Joe were all ready discussed in the first debate with President Biden and Tuesday's debate with Harris. So he gonna take the high road. I get it, I get it. So he will not be doing a third, likely referring to the fact that he has already debated twice this season. You know, as I'm 
as I'm covering this, I'm thinking, you know what? Trump did hurt himself when he was asked about uh, the statement he made about a week ago. Remember that video I did about him saying he lost? Hint, hint. Uh, what was it, a whisper? Then during the debate, he said, oh, he was just joking. Trump, come on, let me give you some, some advice. You can't do that. Some things you can joke about, that you can't. Y'all think Trump was joking? Look, this thing began to be a ball of confusion. That's the last thing you need is confusion, okay? I admire you saying, hey, I'm gonna I'm bow out, but hey. Here we go, give me some more information here. He also claimed without evidence that Harris was a no-show at a Fox debate and refused to do NBC or CBS debates. We've heard that. That's for sure. We have heard that. After Tuesday's debate, Trump questioned the need for another debate, asserting he had won the last one. Wow. Trump advisor Jason Miller however, implied Wednesday was open to another debate. So maybe they'll twist his arm. What do y'all think? Is it necessary to do it or leave it alone? I'm read this last part, saying the onus would be on Harris to show up for a second debate between the candidates. Now, I want you to check this out. You know, they call some folks talking heads. I want you to listen to uh, a lady here who comes on any second here. I want you to hear her response about just what she feel what happened at that debate between Harris and Trump. Check this out. Of course. I mean, she humiliated him. She emasculated him. She spanked his fanny for 90 she minutes. She humiliated him. She emasculated him. And she spanked his fanny. Are you kidding me? I want you all to listen to this crap. I want you I want to hear this again. Look, don't throw your soda pop at the TV. Just cool out. I just want to show you what's out here. Here we go. Yeah, it's awful. Kamala Harris is saying there should be another. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, she humiliated him. She emasculated him. She spanked his fanny for 90 minutes uh, in front of millions of voters. Why would he want to do that again? Um, and of course, she wants to do it again because she scored an A plus. She was stellar. She had high expectations going in. She surpassed those expectations and dismantled him. Um, and so, of course, he's coming out to say, "No way, I don't want that again." And you say this, and a lot of Democrats have been you know, on a high after this debate, viewing her as the winner. This morning on CNN, it was really interesting, Democratic Congresswoman Debbie Dingell praised the debate performance, but then she said there was this phone call that she had from one of her township supervisors, and it really brought her back down to earth when they discussed how Trump's message, to Mark's point, resonated with people in this critical battleground state of Michigan. Here's what she said. He stayed on message on immigration, and immigration is a powerful, it leads to insecurity, fear, both in... He stayed on message. I don't know what this lady here is talking about. I like her glasses. They're the bomb. But baby, look, these networks, people, y'all already know. How you see on the street? I'm about to have a long conversation and just put your hands up and say, you know what? You already know. There is no way in the world Kamala Harris. You know what? Let me play her again. I know I'm going to make y'all mad, but look, I want you to hear, hear this voice. She humiliated him. She emasculated him. She spanked his fanny for 90 minutes. Uh, it oh, my God. It's time to go get DQ. I need I need to give him a round trip ticket to go find her and he interview her. Just a little intimidation, you know. <laughs> this is not crazy. It's crazy with her too. But let, let me let me get back to my logic. How many y'all think Trump did the right thing or wrong thing? I think it's the right thing when I think about it. When I see, when I hear. And I know the pattern. Why would he put himself in that position again? 
unless he's strategizing to do something where he can get his way like leverage for another debate other than that I'm with him it it, it why debate the game is already rigged or is it look don't don't get on me I, I'm talking to the powers I I'm turn in terms of this how they the rhythm alga rhythm you know sucker sucker reser reser that's that's a Fred Flintstone reser 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 <laughs> people look this is crazy do you what would you have done would you have called it quits after hearing this look it's only been what two days and Trump's like man. We out here trying to run a race, and y'all gonna give me a peg leg to stand on. You know what, folks? They gotta get him. They gotta get Trump. They gotta take him out. They gotta take him out. They gotta take him out. They just gotta take him out. I'm gonna keep saying it. They got to take him out. What do you think? They got to take him out. Can't think of that journalist right about now who said that. I forget his name. He's smiling in my face right about now. But there's there's no other choice now. They, they got to take him out. They're seeding this climate. They're saying something that's not in uh, based in reality. Trump won this debate, hands down. And those last four or five minutes, he got them. It's about economy. It's about immigration. He went there. Folks resonate with that. And now that, now that Kamala and company see that they don't have really nothing to respond to, there's no comeback in relation to the way uh, Trump handled it. They gotta seek other means. Look, y'all, I'm just gonna keep it real. They got it. They, 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 they get it. something got to happen. Like I said, Joe might have to take one for the team and just expire, but he ain't really going nowhere. But they gotta, they, 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 they gotta damage uh, the trend, and the trend is Trump is whooping her fanny. This lady knows it. She knows it. They're actors. And I'm going to put this in the in the chat because uh, in the description. It's CNN Trump post that he would debate, that he won't debate Harris. Between her, and let me show you, this guy here, man, they got all over Trump. They said Trump didn't have, he didn't have nothing going for himself. That's not true. But I think they got to take Trump out. They got to take him out. Because they can't beat him fair and square. They can't beat they can't beat him fair and square. There's no way. It's a situation where they've done all the tricks and nothing has worked. And um, this is beginning to be more, more mysterious. Uh, a few days ago, Trump said he didn't win. Now he's saying he no, don't debate, he won't debate. You tell me, do you think something going on? Let's go with another logic. Is there something going on? Was he told not to debate? We can speculate all day. Last week, he did say, look, I lost. You know what year that was. I can't get into it, but now he's saying he won't debate. Did he get a phone call? Did he get a visit? In other words, since he did win, and the reality is that the polls say he whooping her butt. Then you put it out there, he not going. You're not going to debate that way. That way, the damage can the damage control can begin. And now you give um, Kamala something because here's the deal, people. Look, look, look at look how fate put it. When the final moments were there with the debate between Trump and Kamala. Kamala spoke first and Trump 
spoke last. Imagine how it would have been if it was the other way around. Remember, Kamala spoke first, the last, let's say five minutes. Kamala spoke first, Trump ended the debate with, with the last statements. That was it. That was not only a thorn in her side, that was the last nail in the coffin. So yeah, it's a strong possibility Trump got a call. Hey, Trump got a visit. And it matches what he said last week. I didn't win. In other words, he out of character. I'm French Shai Pearson. I've kind of exhausted all my thoughts right about now. Now you tell me, what do you think? Why did Trump bow out of this thing? Why did he bow out? Why did he bow out? And uh, looking at uh, looking at this here, this is kind of cute. I like this. Don't let them eat us. Vote for Trump. I think that's a darling move. That's beautiful. Hey, cats need love too. All right, folks. I'm French Shot Pierce and I'm out of here. God bless you. God bless America.